Hey guys, Power Assemblies here. Today we're going to be showing you how to install a Camelot connector onto a 4 watt cable. So for starters, you're going to grab your cable, you're going to grab your copper shim, and your snipping tool. So you're going to start with the copper shim, you're going to wrap it around the end, and you're going to mark where the copper shim ends. So you can start stripping off the jacket very carefully, trying not to damage any copper strands. And now you just remove the jacket. After you finish stripping off the jacket, you're going to grab your copper shim and you're going to wrap it around the exposed portion of the cable. Once that is complete, you're going to grab your strain relief wire and you're going to wrap it around the insulated portion of the cable. After you've placed the wire, twist the ends and make sure it's tight and secured in place. Once you finish twisting the wire, you're going to place it flat and parallel to the copper shim and the wire. After you've attached your strain relief wire, you're going to attach your brass contact. As you can see here, make sure that the strain relief wire is opposite to where the hex screws go. So next, grab your double set screws, line them up, and then grab your Allen wrench and tighten them. Make sure that you tighten the screws enough to where they're below the brass contact. As you can see, the screws are now flush with the brass contact. Next, we're gonna be grabbing our Camelot connector. We're gonna be attaching it to our cable. Make sure that you line up the arrow on the Camelot connector and the set screw hole with the set screw hole on the brass contact. But first, make sure you grab your all-purpose lubricant, give it a good spray, and then grab your brass contact and also spray that as well. Then line them up and connect. Now that you've attached your Camelot connection, make sure it goes past the jacket of the cable and the strain relief wire. So next, you're gonna grab your black retaining screw and you're gonna place it in the hole that is now lined up between the Camelot connector and the brass contact. You're gonna place the screw, then you're gonna tighten it. Make sure you tighten the screw well, and once you're done, give it a good pull, and just like that, you've secured your Camelot. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe, and for more information, please visit us at powerassemblies.com.